Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with part three of our envelope flip flop journal with a twist. So in case you missed the other two videos, I will um, link them below in the description box, but I'll show you what we've done so far. And so let me take out all the bits. These are all the things we're working with in today's video. So we're basically going to be making another pocket or two and then putting um, some journal cards and tags and stuff in or, or yeah, journal cards in the pockets. So this is the front and sorry it's all untied um, but it ties here it opens like this we've got two pockets here we've got all these eyelets oh I forgot I wanted to add some um, so maybe some chain ball chain and some beads or something I'm not sure if I'll do that on camera guys but I did decide I wanted to leave one uh, open for that option so that's why I did not put seam binding in those ones so it's got a journal on the inside and thank you to the viewer um, who told me how I could gusset um, envelopes. So I will be doing this project again for sure and trying that because that was an epic idea. So um, so yeah, but this is the journal that goes inside. It's very small. It only has six pages, um, but it's, it's considerably big for this space. So we're going to set that aside so it's not in the way. So this flips up. It's going to have a journal card in here. And we'll put a whale tail tab on the on the um, the end of it, and then we've got a belly band here. I've selected some things that can go under the belly band and some things to go in those pockets. And then if you flip it over, we have an envelope flip on the other side. I did add some Velcro. Uh, I added where did that go? Oh, right here. So I've got a Velcro dot right here. You can hardly see it, and then the other side here, and that's going to hold that closed which is going to help. So um, And so this has a pocket as well. This pocket is on the top. And then we've got some bits to put. We're putting a lot of stuff in these pockets because it's such a wide pocket, so it's perfect opportunity for that. Now, in the last video, I was debating on whether or not I wanted to put anything on this. Um, if I do that, it would have to go on the top because I put the... Um, the dot there so we'll come back to that so let me turn this back over we'll start at the front um, before I turn the camera on I just cut a bunch of whale tail tabs out of different pieces of the kit and I'm gonna move the mouse and let's see what we've got here so I've got a bunch of the circles from the kit that I thought we would embellish we'll embellish some we'll see how far we get in this video but I'm just gonna set those over there and then these are the these are a bunch of extra things. I don't I think these were extra things. Yeah, so I'll set those over there. And then these are all the things that are gonna go in the pockets. So let me find the ones that are gonna go in the front pockets because they're small. Oh, actually we have we have the this. So we're gonna put a belly band, I decided, on here. So this belly band measures seven and one eighths by two and a quarter, in case you're interested. So let's go ahead and get the ink over here. I've got my white glue, my Barely Arts, my Fabri-Tac, my eyelet setter, um, brads, and my eyelets there, in case you're wondering what's on my desk. Um, the, the, the response to this project has been really grand. Um, had some people follow me on um, my Facebook and they're actually making one and others in the YouTube comments that said that they're, they were they stopped the video to <laughs> to work on one. So that's what I love to hear. Got a pencil mark. I'm going to try to erase that. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get that out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and use our white glue, which is um, Barely Arts. So we're going to put glue on the two sides and the bottom. It was a lot. I just refilled this bottle. I actually had to order some from Amazon because I was running out. Boom, here we go. It is Saturday, March the, whoops, March the 16th. And I met with the sweet Marisa from Sweet Pea Curiosities. I'm so, it was such a grand time, you guys. If you ever meet somebody where you feel like, like you're kind of sisters from another mother or you just have things in common that make it so easy to just chat and talk well that's how it felt and it was so cool 
so cool. So she's got three children. I have three children. Um, she's a year younger than me, but that's neither here nor there. We won't talk about that. But it was just, she was here a couple hours, and it was just sweet, 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 sweet. So this one is going to go in this pocket, which is a side opening pocket. So this measures six and a half by four and three quarters. Obviously, depending on your envelopes, you would make those whatever size you needed them to be. So I think I'm going to round the corners on this just for the heck of it. This is that distressed background paper that I've been using in this project um, and I will link it again in this uh, video. So let me move that and grab my tabs and see what we want for it's nice to have a contrast against that, so I'm looking for something that will be good. Actually, I think the brown would be nice. Um, some of these will be able to put some seam binding. Oh, should we do? No, not the blue. Let's do the, the brown on this one. Um, we'll be able to put some seam binding. I'm not going to do toppers on everything because it, the, it will get too bulky because um, we don't have a lot of room to grow in this project. So. And pardon my cut, I was, I got new, the new, um, oh, Cutter B scissors. Well, when they're new, they hurt like heck when you cut yourself. And I was cutting last night while I was watching a show with my husband. And, um, oh, yowza, it hurt. But I had to take the band-aid off because it's got to get some air so it can heal. So I'm going to have to put this up on her neck, unfortunately. So... I'm gonna go ahead and do that. She doesn't have a head anyway, so I guess it doesn't it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I did not cut the head off. It didn't have a head, just so you know. <laughs> I'm not morbid that way. So we will, um, let's go ahead and just do our eyelet now. It's risky when the glue is wet, but it usually goes okay for me. And I also ordered more of my tiny brat and my tiny eyelets. Look at how many I have now. No fear of running out. <laughs> no fear whatsoever. I actually got two packages, which is why there's so many in there. But they're very affordable. I think I paid like six dollars for the for each one. So and they'll last me forever. I get them on Amazon. I'll try to remember to link them. They're the one eighth inch eyelets, so the smaller ones. That was not a very good set. I never get a second chance though, so it is what it is. Okay, so let's just go ahead and stick this in here just so you can kind of look. Oh, well, let's put some seam binding on it. I didn't even pull any out, so let me just reach here and see what we want to use. So I used the brown. I think that would be good to keep with that color. That's right here. Whoops. Just one, Kara Renee, just one. And then the red. Yeah. I think we'll stick with those colors. So let's go ahead and do the red on this because this is going to stick out of this pocket. So easy peasy. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I um, had a fantastic day as I mentioned. Uh, Marisa came and then I spent some time in the studio getting this these pieces prepped um, and then did some coffee dyeing um, some textiles and and then I went to my grandson's soccer game so it was nice and the beautiful over seven it was like 72 degrees here in battleground Washington craziness it was so so awesome so awesome I'm an inside girl but I'd still do appreciate the warm weather and the sunshine and just the overall sense of spring even though I don't take advantage of it by being out in it as much as my husband. That's his his lifeblood is to be outside working. So we're gonna stick that in there just so you guys can see what it looks like. Boom, it sticks out right there. Oh, it's a little bit long. Oh, no, it's not. There we go. Perfect. Woohoo! Okay, so we're gonna leave that to dry. It's, it was got a little wrinkled in my basket. Something set on that piece and it got strange. So, so these ones, let's see what we had for the little pockets. I've got everything kind of clumped together here. Because I already cut some of them down. So not all of them fit in these pockets. Yeah, 
yeah, not that one. I think this was one and this was one. I'll show you these images up close here in a second. I think these were the two in each pocket. So look at these boots. Aren't they just amazing? Ah, oh, I wanna do watercolor like that. That's what I wanna do. So I am gonna um, round these. I like that look. And I'm not gonna put toppers on these because it's just too much bulk because then I feel like I need to put something in through the hole and the eyelet and all that, so. Stick that one in there. So fun, oh my gosh, so fun. And then the coat. Shall we leave the coat square? Yeah, let's leave the Actually, I've got another punch. Hold on. Hold the fort. Let's do something fancy-ish. I never can remember which is which, so let me do a little test over here on a piece of scratch paper or scrap paper. I can never remember which one has what, what effect, so open that up. I don't like that one, so it's the other side. Okie dokie. Grab it. My finger is sore though. Ooh. Oh yeah, like that. This is a Memory Keepers uh, corner punch too. It just does the decorative corner, so I like it. I always forget to use it though. Look at that delicious paper on the back. So fun. Stick that in there. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, I don't want to put a bunch of stuff on these. And then this is going to go in the other pocket. <clears throat> I wonder if I should switch those because the colors go better over here. Let's switch that. Oh, I like this one better over here. Pardon me. That's so much stuff in my way. The yellows look really good over there. So we'll do the, we've got the jeans here. Look at that. Isn't it so fun? Just Anton, he just did a fantastic job on these digitals. And thank you guys for those of you who went, who love the kit and you went and purchased it. Um, he's had a cut, well, he didn't say how much, but he's had people go over and purchase the kits. And I know, I know some people that did, but thank you so much for, for supporting him and, um, yeah, I love it when we can boost creators um, in this in this um, niche in the junk journal world and in the digital crafting world. So thank you for that. Oh, that goes perfect there. Woohoo! So where's the other one? Oh, the coat. Look at the coat. It's <laughs> so cool. Oh, let's let's round those edges. Oh, did I already lose my thing? Let's see what that one is. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Okay. Oh, boom. So cool. Okay, so what did we have in this pocket? I think I'm going to use this dress. So it looks similar, right? But it is a different dress. So I thought it would be, since it's nice and big, it would be a good one to go there. So I think we'll round the corners on this one. must have run out of ink look at that that's not gonna work so I will replace this one later we'll just go with it for now oh my goodness gracious I didn't even notice that okay so that's gonna slide in there like that big big journaling space there and then I think I had one of these these watches I thought that was really cool so let's go ahead and do the special 
punchy bit on there. Great, great project for lots of journaling space because the these areas are super big for creating journal cards and, and such. So, oh good, this one's not purple on the back. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> now that I remember, I was cutting some stuff earlier and I saw purple scraps on the table, so I should have, that should have been my clue. So I'm curious, like what got, what, are you, what do you guys look forward to in, for the summer? Um, do you like to be out in the in the in the weather? Do you like to be inside? You know, do you? What's the weather like? Like where you're at? Do you have hot summers or are your summers kind of mild? Kind of curious. I love that. I love how that looks right there. Interesting. Okay. So up here we had. Um, Okay, what did we have here? Some of these are for the other side. I think I did have some of these for this pocket though. That's too tall, so that must be for the other side. This one. That one should work in there. And this one. Yeah, let's do that. I have more if I need to I need to grab for, for some more. So let's just round the corners on these ones. I'm not going to put um, eyelets on these because I don't want more seam binding hanging out of this. I think it's got enough already. Of course, if you're following along, you could do whatever, whatever you like. Make it your own. That's the beauty of this craft. So I am working on Watercolor 101. It'll be, be posting before the end of the month. And I think we're going to do a little watercolor, a little watercolor drawing, uh, drawing, or I'm debating. So I might drop. Um, there's a, um, a a floral image out on Pinterest. That's um, it's vector. It's free domain, a, a copyright free domain. And I was thinking about just putting that out in community, in my community um, tab as a comment and see if you guys want to grab that if you want to participate in the video or you could grab it later but I think I might do that I haven't quite decided but I'm not quite ready to do the sketching on camera so I thought we would just use an, another image um, so I've already picked one I might change my mind because I'm kind of like that and find something else but we'll we'll see how we'll see what I think but we're going to play with the uh, Gansey um, watercolor paints and show you some techniques. I might show you a little bit of a little bit of technique in terms of demonstrating to you the difference between um, wet wet on wet and uh, wet wet on wet wet on dry, and then just yeah wet on dry. Wet on dry means you just paint directly on the paper without adding water, uh, additional water to your paper. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll do a sketch. I don't know. I haven't planned the video completely yet. So there we go. I love that. I think those need to scoot over and be more even. Maybe they, we can even get another one in there. Let's see. I am also still planning on doing uh, Sunday's Art of Truth for March, so I'm going to be working on that this week as well. And I'm also going to be working on a project for Daisy Isaac. I'm not sure if that's going to hit in March or if it's going to fall into the early part of April. Um, I'm not sure. So let's get that in there. Oh, so cool. Isn't that so neat? Okay, so this side is completely done. So this closes like this closes like this, whoops, wrong way, closes like this, and then like this. Well, that's kind of problematic. Should be okay though. So I'm gonna create a little bit of bulk, but that's all right. So we're gonna turn her over, and this is the last bit. We all are also gonna, I'm gonna see if I wanna fiddle with putting beads on, on the signature strings before I let you go today, but so I want to go ahead and put the lace on here. I'm going to leave this as it is. I'm not going to put a pocket. I love that image. So let me grab, um, 
yeah, let me go ahead and grab the lace because that will have a chance to dry before we have to fiddle too much with anything else here. So this is just lace, if I forgot to mention, from Hobby Lobby. And it comes in a cream and a really, really white. And I coffee dyed it, so it's it's more just a, like a tan, which is I think is pretty. So we're going to put it right there. I love that. So I'm going to get my Fabri-Tac, and I'm just going to run some of that along the bottom here. Actually, let me get a piece of parchment so I don't get anything on my on the other part of this. So open that up. Okay. There we go. We'll trim that off in a minute, not quite yet. Whoops, that's too high. Alrighty, so we'll just flip that up because we don't need to deal with that right now. And have I mentioned that my finger hurts? <laughs> it doesn't help that I'm getting ink in there <laughs> at all. It was a pretty deep cut too. I had to stop my fussy cutting because it was I was bleeding everywhere. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna get some things in these pockets. So these were the bigger cards. So I thought they'd go in here. I think these ones will do that special corner on them. So while I'm inking this up, I want to tell you about a collaboration. I know many of you will already know about it. It's a collaboration I am actually participating in with Rachel, hosted by Rachel Bella Crafts and Angela Kerr Designs. And uh, it's an epic, it's going to be an epic collaboration. My project isn't until the 9th of April, but I will be posting on my social media, um, hopefully every day, um, letting you all know um, who's creating and that kind of thing or at, in the evening after I've watched the videos I can share what the project was and um, there's all there will always be a link tree so you can open the link tree and it'll take you to the YouTube video it'll take you to I believe the kits and everything for the collaboration so you guys can check it out if you want to so let's just stick these in this pocket so so cool oh my gosh this is so neat so are these all the same size they are? Cool. Coolio. Let's get those jeans in there. Right there. Oh, that one's a little shorter. That one's short too. So they're all short, other than the big one. <laughs> That's okay. It doesn't matter. Let's get those shoes in there. I feel like this needs to go in the middle then if it's the tallest. So just going to kind of center that there and kind of put this at an angle too. That'll give it a little bit of flair. Actually, I think I want to put this this one in here instead. And then let's just put that, that suit jacket there. Come on. I'm, I'm operating without one finger here. That's the problem. <laughs> there we go. It's stiff. You know how it gets when you get a cut. So... I know, I'm whining. <laughs> I'm whining. Okay, I love that. Okay, so the only other thing we have is, I guess we don't have too many things that need an eyelet. So the only thing we have left is this pocket. So let me just straighten out this lace edge and we are almost done. We're gonna give it, we're gonna give, we're gonna give the beads a try. With my finger, I'm not sure how successful I'll be, but I'm going to try for you. I don't do fussy stuff on camera very well, so we'll see how it goes. 
So that looks really, really cool though. That really dressed that edge up. So this is the one that's gonna go in this pocket. Okay, and I need to trim that white off. I left some white on here. Okay, and let's just ink that up. These are this is the paper that I used for that I cut up for those little corner pockets. This was the digital for that. They look really cool. <laughs> they look really cool. Look at that. I think I need to cut this down though now that I'm thinking about it. So let's see where we're at here. Yeah, it's gonna be too tall. We're stuck there too. We must be hanging up on something. There we go. Yeah, it's just got to have a little bit come off. So I will trim off. I think I'll trim off a little bit off the bottom. I'm going to have to do that by hand because I didn't even get my cutter out. So fingers crossed that I don't botch this and get crooked. So I would love to hear your feedback. Did you enjoy this, this series? Did you enjoy the way that it was done? in terms of the things that I did on camera for you. Um, I'm really curious about that, so you can let me know. Um, so let's go ahead. I think I wanna put some, um, some eye, an eyelet on here so it's gonna hang kind of here when it's closed. So I think that'll be fine. So let's get an eyelet on here. Um, I cut a lot and I didn't use really any of them here, so. It's okay, they'll get used. I think this one would be cool. It's got a myriad of colors in it. I just used the small die. Uh, I'll try to remember to link it as well. I need to just, I need to recreate a junk journal supply list that's just going to be linked all the time because I used to have one for mixed media, but I don't do that so much anymore. So I will try to remember to do that. If I forget, feel free to, to let me know. Alrighty, so let's put that on the top. I'm gonna try to get it in the middle here because I don't want, I really don't want it to be weird. So I'm gonna line it up there and then I'm just gonna put my finger here so that I know approximately that's the middle. I'm just gonna clamp that down right there, right there. Okay, let's put one more eyelid in. Whoops. Crooked. I have a special project coming up using the the uh, digitals from Daisy Isaac um, French Cottage Shabby. Um, something that I haven't done before, so I'm hoping that it will be enjoyable. She's a shabby chic creator. Um, they are all her own paintings that she's done, that she's made into digitals and is sharing with the world. They're just absolutely beautiful. I've done, I've used them on the channel before. If you guys have been following me, you probably will recognize them. Come on, there we go. That was it's still wet, that was risky. Is that really in the middle? Is that really in the middle? I don't know, I don't think it is. Let's move it over, we got time. We got time. That's better. Yeah, that's better. A little bit. I don't think that's in the middle. No worries. Okay, let's just set this eyelet, put a little bit of seam binding on it, and we will be done. Easy peasy. 31 minutes! That's a record! And it probably won't even be 30. Oh no. What's going on here? That's terrible. Why is that not working right? It's not allowing me to get the full squeeze in here. I don't know why. Darn it. That is a bummer. It won't come out, but that, I'm not super thrilled about that. So we're gonna use the brown seam binding on this piece. So I'm just reaching over and cutting a piece off my, my bobbin. Oh, we were gonna try the, the beads. Shall we try the beads? I don't know. It could be comical, especially with my nails. Like They grow so fast these days because I'm being a good girl and taking my vitamins every day. That, yeah. Okay. I 
have to be careful doing this while that fabric tuck is still pliable. You pull the tab right off. <laughs> I've done it before. There we go. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, there we go. So that's going to go in this pocket right here. I might put another one in there off camera. We'll see. We'll see how bulky it ends up. So now this is going to close on that and then that should stick out. That's a nice little element right there with that seam binding hanging out in a different spot. So super cool. So I want to keep this open and I need to find my little, I have a little thing that helps me bead things that are small. So I'm hoping that it's going to help me today. I'm not sure. But I'll have to do this part off camera because I did not plan for it. But I did pull some beads out, so I'm just going to reach up here and grab them. And you can help, well, you can't help me decide, but I'm going to think out loud and figure out which ones I actually want to use. So I pulled some out this afternoon. Oh, and I want to tell you guys, so I told you before I started cutting up my wedding dress. And my wedding dress only had one button. This is the button right there. That is a 40 year old button right there. And then this is the zipper pull. So I'm going to use, I'm going to put the zipper pull as a dangle on the family legacy journal that I'll be making um, using my wedding dress. And it is going to, it's going to be a family legacy journal, junk journal style that will be, go from my birth, my husband's birth, all the way to the current. So it's going to be a Mondo project. Um, so let's see we need that we need the signature don't we it's gonna go on the signature string so we don't even need this right now we get all this stuff out of the way so we've got two strings so I'm really feeling this blue and this yellow right here these two and this with this bead in between I set this one aside thinking I didn't want it but I think I actually do I'm hoping that this is gonna go through there without any assistance oh it is awesome okay so we're just gonna tie this off and I just tie it in a double knot I want it to be fairly long so I'm gonna try to get this closer to the end here when I did this signature binding I couldn't find my my wax thread so this is a different wax thread which I'm not super fond of but it worked it splits at the end a lot more than than the stuff I like to use so as far as the thinner wax thread. So there we go. I'm just going to trim that just a smidge. And I have also these um, these pink rose ones that I think are really pretty, but I'm not sure that I'm feeling them for this one. And then I found this in my stash. I thought this was really cool too. It's not old piece of jewelry, but I like that right there. That right there. But I'm, I'm feeling like I want the blues because there's a lot of denim in this and I think it would be cool. So as I'm planning on doing that in the middle, I think, let's see, fingers crossed, this will go in. Gotta find the hole first, Karen, eh? Where is it? Oh my goodness. Is it right there? There it is. Come on. It's not going to work. Oh, yeah, it is. Woohoo! I'm a little doubting Thomas here. And then I have this kind of more vintage y looking um, little spacer I thought would be pretty there. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Let's do the second one. And then we will be actually done. Still a shorter video than my typical video, so my gift to you. <laughs> my gift to you. So I'm going to tie this one about the same. I'm not too concerned about them being absolutely even. I'm double knotting that so that my bead will not slip off. I am also, just before I let you go, I'm also going to be kind of advertising, so to speak, for um, Creative art, uh, creative Artisan. Um, Karen over there is doing a, they're doing a collaboration as well. 
Uh, she asked me to participate, but I just um, I just didn't feel like I could do it. Um, it's a little bit more extensive than what I'm doing for Rachel Bella Crafts. It's just I just do one project for Rachel Bella Crafts, and and the one that uh, Karen is doing is heading up is a little bit more elaborate. So, but I did uh, tell her that I would um, promote her um, her collaboration. So you might be seeing that also on my social media timeline and stuff. So there we go. Let's close her up so we can get a picture of what this looks like. All closed and beautiful. This was so much fun, you guys. Anton, thank you so, so much for a beautiful, beautiful digital kit. I am so glad that you reached out and um, I would love an opportunity to do more in the future. Um, I've got to get some other projects done, but I would love to be considered again to use your beautiful digitals. So there we go. Let's just tie that off. And I want to show you what the, the beads look like when the, this is um, in a little bit different position. There we go. So cool. So then this can hang down like that, right? So actually it could hang on either side of that seam binding, kind of in the middle, or it can kind of hang off to the side or whatever. So it could also hang off this side and not not get in the way of that, which would maybe be prettier like that. But look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I don't, I know it's prideful to brag on my own work, but this is super fun and an easy, easy project, guys. I hope that you, you try it if you have not already tried it. I'm going to try to do the construction of this again and do the gusseted suggestion that was made um, by a subscriber. Um, or no, she did. It wasn't a subscriber. Some somebody on Facebook that um, asked me if I'd figured out how to do the gusset in an, for the envelopes, and I said I had not. So she shared her knowledge with me, and I'm I'm super grateful for that. So I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.